Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are picking up here shortly after our last episode. Gonna try and get a gas station connected today. Just picked up our second generator that's been sitting in that shed since we arrived. And I'm thinking of going, uh, what would it be, out west? Uh, towards one of the smaller communities that has a, does have a gas station. Uh, it is smaller, so hopefully it won't be uh, too overrun with zombies. Uh, Wayne County, uh, from yesterday, from the last episode, uh, that definitely was a bit uh, bit too much there. Mm, I guess I can't keep this here. I have to put it in the back. Forgot I had stuff on the seat there. I got our Spiffo uh, plushie on the front seat. Uh, very fitting. You can ride shotgun with this. All right, let's hop in here. And let's get this show on the road. We are low on food, so we'll be keeping an eye out for uh, some food looting. I've had suggestions that we should probably start trapping soon. Uh, when we get back to base, we'll take a look around the property, see if there's anywhere that we can place some traps down. There should be some places that are far enough away. I'm not sure if there'll be any foraging locations, but I think we can get away with trapping. Uh, we're not by a forest, so it won't be ideal uh, for catching uh, a lot of uh, prey, but uh, we should be able to get some stuff from the fields. You'd think rabbits would still uh, be running around the fields. All right, so we're going all the way down this road. Uh, so this turn off here is the road behind our place. Let's keep moving up. There are a few turnoffs along the way. And uh, if the zombies kind of thin out a bit, we'll try and take one of those turnoffs. If not, we'll just go straight to the gas station destination. But yeah, there are... I'm just amazed at how many zombies there are out in the, in the countryside. <laughs> Definitely feels like that has uh, that has changed over the update. Oh, did I lose a wheel? No. Okay, I must have just clipped a bush or something. Thought maybe I lost a tire. Yeah, there are so many over here. This is ridiculous. Uh, I also had a suggestion that uh, we can, of course try to use uh, gas to make a Molotov. I know you used to be able to way back when. I'm not sure if that's still the case. So we can attempt to do that since we don't have a bottle of whiskey yet. You know what? It may, <laughs> it may be a little difficult connecting this generator up because now we're getting even more zombies now that we're uh, getting closer to our destination. But it's good to always, at the very least, scout out these places. I think if we continue following this, it'll take us there. Unless we need to turn off back there. Let's turn off in here. Not sure if this is it or not. It's around this location, though. Alright, so we got houses. This must be it up here. Yeah, I think this is the parking lot here. Alright, lots of cars. That's good. Yeah, so this is the gas station. Right there. So that's what we want to connect. I might drive out, uh, uh, out a ways here. Oh man, there's so many. Go back in on foot and try and draw some away, but look at, there's so many here. I can't even pull over safely. Unless we go way outside of town. What if we just go right here? Alright, let's try this. Uh, I do have a radio. Okay, let's try sneaking back towards 
We drove so far out, though. I have a feeling this is going to be a couple day operation to do this. God damn it. God damn it, another crash. I don't know what is what is wrong. Things were going so smoothly up until a point, and then uh, the last couple episodes we've been running into more issues. All right, well, there's definitely still zombies in the area. Uh, this parking lot, though, is now clear. Let's take a peek around the corner and see what the situation looks like over there. Fairly clear. This is so annoying when this happens. It doesn't even give me like a um, a crash error or anything, or like the application is ex unexpectedly quit. It just uh, just boots me back to the desktop. Well, since we're here, let's check the cop car. Make the best of the situation. All right, so it does have a key. Uh, does not have any fuel though. So. Is it worth us taking a cop car? It's in good shape. Just regular suspension. Usually these have performance parts. Hmm. And then we also have the McCoy van there too. All right. Should we attempt to get some food then from the food market? Since the game has ruled us this situation. I guess so. So just one in here. Can we get in any of these buildings without breaking a window? Looks like a coffee shop. Got two here. Oh, two more in the back, looks like. You used to be able to like swing in the air and then they would hear you. Lots of rotten stuff here. Yeah, it's like a, a bakery. One came out. Not sure where the other one is. Another one with an apron. We probably won't find any food in here. Maybe some sugar and flour for baking, but yeah, we got a apron there. No insulation on that. No protection. Let's see if there's anything that's not rotten. Maybe some cookies. Lots of rotten stuff. Oh, there's a key though. Car key. There we go, some cookies. Uh, you know what, we are hungry. Let's go ahead and eat that. We could take all this stuff for the compost bin. Uh, we'll think about that later. Let's see if there's any other good loot here. That we can grab first. Plaster powder. More cookies. Raspberry shortbread. There we go. That's what we want. Cupcake. Let's fill up our bottle. Maybe we do just break into this uh, food market. I don't think anyone's in there. We'll go back to the generator quest in a moment. More rotten stuff that we could take for uh, 
uh, the compost bin. We'll do our usual usual search for a, a pickle or two first. Garbage bags will also be nice. There's got to be at least one pickle in here. There's always a pickle. <laughs> but maybe not in this one. No. Alright, I'll take the pop. Rotten meat patty, orange soda. Ah, there we go, some marinara if we ever make some pasta. Salt, jar lid. Some more charcoal. There we go, chips, jar, pepper, more soda. More jars, some vinegar, good for jarring. More chips. Okay, we're, we're doing pretty good here for food now. Getting some good stuff. Oh, thought I saw a shadow there. And I think I saw a pickle as well. Where was that? There we go. There, two. Uh, there's probably enough food in here to, uh, we could really fill up our compost bin. If we can get the car close enough, we might just back up and, and load this thing up with rotten food. We're already a little bit tired at 10.20 a.m. Now this looks like a butcher. Looks like a lot of meat down there. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a doorway that we could have just walked through. Okay, grab the key, we'll grab the jacket. I could have just gone right through there. Whoops. Let's see what we got here. Uh, the bacon. Yeah, let's take that. This time we'll actually get around to cooking it. For the XP. But yeah, a lot of meat, hey? Is the butcher a new uh, building spawn? Let's get out of here before that door breaks. No ice cream. More jars. We got a few jars. A few jars and some vinegar. Alright. Let's head towards the gas station. Before we put our radio down, uh, let's see if it's actually attracted anyone or if the uh, crash messed that up. Did I put it in this field? Didn't I? the hell? Did I put it back in our inventory? Or did it just steal... Did I put it in this field, didn't I? Did it just steal a radio from us? A premium radio from us? Or no, it must have been... Was it further back? I thought it was right here. Ah. Uh, the curse of Zomboid returns. A curse and a blessing. Well, we'll take a look at the garage then. Right, so we got five in there. Try and pull them out one at a time. Uh, an M36 revolver. Do we have one of those? I feel like we picked one up before. Pretty low, con uh, pretty low damage, I should say. Coming out or are you going to that door? Like a fool. Oh, that's a nice jacket there. Okay, let's grab that. Might be able to sneak a peek here. Uh, okay, more nails. Regular suspension for a sports car, regular battery for a sports car, and a saw. Let's try and do this without killing him. Ah, oh, there we go, another radio. Grab that. Performance brakes for our car. 
Screwdriver. Standard gas. Lots of sports car uh, components. Let's see what those other parts in there were, though. So there were also sports. Quite a bit of loot, though. Overall. Uh, big gas tank, standard gas tank, regular brake, standard, two of them. Another pipe wrench, another empty gas can, another big tank for a ga uh, sports car. Uh, this garbage can is full, so they might have a garbage bag in there. This one looks like they have a jacket, too. We're gonna have to rest very soon here. We're also starting to carry a heavy load. Let's try and take a look at this garbage bin. Ah, just pencils and pens. No good. What's in this one? Hammer and a sheet. Well, if we ever get a sports car, I guess this is the place to come. Nothing in there. Lollipop. And yeah, these are probably just bathrooms, yeah. Alright, let's uh make our way to the gas station now. At the very least there should be some fuel in these cars we could uh swipe for ours. Okay, so the gas station looks pretty clear now. However, our our generator and uh, spiffle van very far away. Well, when I say relatively clear, there are still zombies here. Gas station itself looks fine, though. Um, let's take care of this one in the field first. Oh, we're quite hungry. Let's open up this can of tuna. Eat that. I may need to eat something else. No, nope. that's enough for now. Come on. It's getting harder and harder the more tired we get. So if we get this... I guess if we get this area somewhat clear, we could try driving the van a little bit closer back. And maybe we'd be able to bring the generator in, in on foot. Yeah, we really need to rest up here. You know what? Let's go to the laundromat. There should be some some seats in there, some chairs. Nice, and it's open. Okay. Let's rest here. Catch our breath. Hopefully we don't get too much more tired. Okay, good. Oh, we're quite tired now. Our awareness is going to be dropping significantly at this stage. Where did you come from? Alright, back to the front. So the pumps themselves are clear. They're candy. Ooh, there are more down there, though. Wouldn't it be nice if there was just a generator that spawned over here? Let's 
take a look inside, I guess. See if anyone heard that. Well, if she didn't, I doubt anyone else did. We're good. Go ahead and pick this up. Looks like there's quite a few supplies in here. At the very least, we should be coming back with some food. Okay, more car parts. There's some more gas. Let's grab that. Some more empty gas cans. We will need a lot of gas cans uh, if we're going to be using our generator back home. <coughs> Sorry, I had it sneeze there. Another lead pipe, okay. Let's grab that. And that bag is full. Not much gas in that one. Soda. Uh, we're looking for a car jack as well, right? So if we find one of those, we'll take it. Cupcake. All right. We are completely full. Okay, more rotten milk in there. Propane tank, good. Oh yeah, there's lots of supplies. Another propane tank, more chips, more pipe wrenches. It's just a bathroom, is it? Storage room. Shotgun shells. So yeah, definitely enough for us to warrant coming back here for. Being this tired, I think we're going to want to go rest. Attempt to get connected, the uh, generator connected later. I don't know if I want to... Should we risk sleeping somewhere in here? Or do we just head back to the car now? Might be best to just head back to the car. Find a house down the road, maybe. Let's make our way back to the vehicle. We'll drop this stuff off at the very least. Well, the crash definitely didn't affect the uh, amount of zombies out in this area. Still got quite a few here. Oh god, yeah, I gotta get to the car. I can't run anymore. Oh, let's go. All right, we're gonna have to find somewhere to, uh, to sleep here because we are exhausted, ridiculously tired. Hopefully there'll be something uh, down this area, or at the very least, the uh, zombies will phase out. And you know what? There aren't any zombies over here. Maybe. Oh no, never mind. Spoke too soon. So maybe we could just sleep in the car. We'll find a house. We'll come back. We'll get that generator hooked up. Just gotta get a little bit further away from everyone. Let's try this bot. Alright, so there's a two-story house here. That's good. Let's pull over here. And there's a fair number of zombies around. I wonder if we'll be able to clear this out. Can we just get in? Before they see us. Oh god. There's one already in here. Jeez, I was a little lucky. That uh, we didn't get jumped. Okay. Uh, let's drop our bag. Our duffel bags here. No, where's the one we got stuff in? There. Let's drop those. Uh, let's head out the back and we'll try and pick these ones off lots of coveralls back out in the country oh just one okay good we may have attracted more zombies by hitting the door
Oh no! Run! Run, run, run! Uh oh, we got scratched on the face. It's because we're not wearing our helmet. Oh, I don't have any um, of my bandages. <gasps> this isn't good. Okay. Uh, I came pretty bare bones out here. Not a good idea. Let's get back inside. And hopefully there's some clothes in there we can tear up. They can probably smell us though, because we're bleeding. Alright, let's head upstairs. Oh, let's close this door. Alright, things aren't good. Keep getting crashes. <laughs> we gotta find some bandage here. Uh, to fix ourselves up. Still not looking good. Uh, we can take these curtains, I guess. Man, that's like three crashes today? Ridiculous. Alright, let's rip this up. I think the game is trying to kill us. It's uh, episode 20. That's where we died the last time around, so... We'll see. I'm gonna wrap a, a sheet around my face. <laughs> Top of my head. Oh, man. And I had... The, the worst thing is... Is I had the... Uh, the firefighter gear with us. Um, I had dropped it in that bag downstairs. Okay, well, let's keep this open. I don't know. This may be it. That was a, a bad scratch uh, combined with all the crashes we've been experiencing. Not looking too good for our character. Oh, and, and what do you know? I, I lost my bag. My, my bag has apparently despawned. Fantastic. Uh, just keeps getting better and better. That was all our firefighting gear. Um, we still do have uh, a spare set of the firefighter get up back home. I guess, I'm, I guess we should just call this one a, a failure. I wonder if our car is still out there somewhere. I keep closing this. I should keep it open. Okay, our car is still there. Let's see if our generator is inside. Generator is still there. And let's double check that I don't have our bag on us, and I don't, so yeah, I lost uh, both our duffel bags. Nice! Oh my god. Um, we're so tired. Do we just sleep here? Even though there's a zombie outside? Mm. Well, no. <laughs> I guess we're going to the car. <laughs> Indecision is a killer in this game. Yeah, I'm too tired. I'm too exhausted. My face bandage is dirty. I gotta change that out. We're gonna see if we get anxious. Let's, uh... Oh, we can bandage with leather strips. We'll just bandage with our normal strips. I think we gotta go home. Get this thing disinfected. And yeah, it doesn't look like the backup beeper attracts anyone. So, I guess we tested that. I wonder what's the quickest way to get home. If I go through that town or just go down this way. Let me, uh... God, it keeps stuttering too. Uh, I'm gonna go down this way. I'm gonna check the map and see if there's an easier way to get back home from here. Yeah, it looks like there is um, a roundabout way. It's a little bit further of a drive. Uh, we're just gonna head down this highway. Uh, until we find the the dirt road that heads back north and uh, that will eventually lead us back home so I think I will edit here our characters almost back to okay health I did just eat some ice cream there we go okay health uh, of course we know that doesn't mean anything really but uh, good to see that his health is back up we'll see if we have any anxiety when we return so we're back the uh, the warehouses here uh, we had come here several episodes ago when we were looking for... Uh, was that when we were looking for the sack? I think it was. Still no sign of anxiety. Oh, I think I want to take this road here. So, I guess that's good. Health still okay. I've changed out the bandage once. Uh, or once more, I should say. Let's weave our way through the... the hordes here. I think we can get home 
I might have to change the bandage once more before we pull into our, our parking spot, but uh, I don't know. We, we may have a chance here still. Okay, the uh, the bleeding has stopped. I have to change the bandage out one more time. Uh, it's still scratched, but uh, at least the bleeding stopped. That's a good sign. Alright, there's our property. Let's get down this road here. I'm glad the bleeding stopped. At the very least. It's stage one of recovery. And here we are. Still no anxiety. Okay. Good, good. Sucks that we lost that firefighter gear. Okay, well. No real loot except for what we had put into our backpack. A little bit of food. Uh, we lost most of the food we picked up, though, in the gas station. Sucks. There's more to go back, though. Uh, back for. Let's just get upstairs. And we will rest. Uh, let's eat these chips. I think we'll set our alarm. We'll rest for a few hours. Uh, where's our watch? Right there. Okay, let's set the alarm. It is 11.50, so let's sleep until maybe 5.30. And we'll see what happens here. Open up our health panel again. Dirty bandage. Oh, I should have disinfected that. But... Oh, I didn't even turn on the, uh, the alarm. I set it, but I did not turn it on. Okay, well, no anxiety. We've had a good sleep. Let's go back to our medical supplies here. Let's see if this is com completely healed yet. It is. Wow. I don't know how many more uh, chances we're going to get here. We are uh, seriously testing the limits of uh, what we're able to do in progress on but as far as the injuries go. Let's put these dirty sheets away. And I should be carrying at least one bandage and disinfectant on us. I don't know why I got out of that habit. But that'll do it for today. Um, I'm going to try and uh, see if maybe there's some updates or something I need uh, for the computer. Uh, maybe some drivers. Uh, I don't know why it's crashing so much here. So I apologize for that. But we're still alive. Somehow, uh, Brian has, has continued to live here. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave me some comments down below. Uh, another not so successful episode for what we wanted to do. We will try and get a generator hooked up again next episode. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, I'll talk to you all later.